As a marketing director, I create a variety of reports, such as this fiscal year budget report. To enhance the layout of my report, I often use the merge feature to better align report titles and section labels. When I merge two or more adjacent cells, the cells are joined into one larger cell that can span several columns and rows. Merging cells does not combine the contents of the cells. In fact, the contents of only one cell can be displayed in a merged cell. If more than one of the selected cells contains data, Excel displays the data from the upper leftmost cell in the merged cell, but it will notify you before that happens. Let me show you how to merge cells. Here's how my worksheet looked before I formatted it. I start by selecting the cells that I want to merge. I want to center the title in the merged cell, so on the Home tab, in the Alignment group, all I have to do is click the Merge and Center button. I can format the merged cell just as I would any other cell. First, I'll click All Borders to create a border around the merged cell so that you can see that the merged cell is treated as a single cell. Then I'll change the background color of the report title. I can also merge cells without centering the text. I think I'll merge the section labels and keep them left aligned. I can merge either horizontal or vertical ranges of cells, but the cells must be adjacent. However, I can quickly merge several section labels at the same time. I first make multiple selections by pressing Control and clicking the cells I want to merge for each label. Then I click Merge Across to merge each of those areas all at once. Now I can format them the way I want. I'll use orange for the main section heading and center it vertically. And I'll use orange again for the total row. I'll use a pale orange for the subsection headings. If I merge cells that contain wrapped text, that text remains wrapped. I think I'll format the merged cells to match the account label. If needed, I can also make text wrap in a merged cell by using the wrap text command. When I merge cells, existing formatting, such as this currency format, also stays in place. I think I will align these numbers at the bottom of the merged cell to make them stand out better. I can also merge all cells in either an entire row or column, but not both at the same time. If needed, I can easily split any merged cell into its original cells by unmerging. For now, I'll unmerge the column I just merged. If I don't remember where all the merged cells are in my worksheet, I can use Find to quickly locate them. I click Options, click Format, click the Alignment tab, select the Merge Cells checkbox, click OK, and then click Find All. In the list of all merged cells, I can simply click any of the entries to see where they are located. Here are a few tips to remember about merged cells. I can split only a cell that has been merged. It's not possible to split a single unmerged cell into smaller cells. It's also not possible to merge or split merged cells in an Excel table. The merge commands simply won't be available. If you create an Excel table from worksheet data that contains merged cells, The merged cells will automatically be unmerged. Merging is a useful feature. I like the way my report turned out. It's much more appealing and easy to scan.